Today I will be interviewing Margaret Johnson about her time in the Swedish colony. Okay, I was actually born in Quebec, the province of Quebec, Gaspé. And um, there were 13 of us in the family, so I was used to big families. And uh, my mother and my father died when I was at an early age, 11, 11 and 12. So after that, I was brought up in a convent till I was old enough to leave there, and that is when I came to the United States, because my sister had married here. And of course, I met my husband on this side, Swede, married in 1955, and uh, I, lo I loved I liked it here. It was uh, a good place to be. I felt safe, secure. Everybody was friendly, and I uh, was very happy being with them. Yeah, I actually learned a little Swedish at the same time. <laughs> okay, so what was your favorite thing about the Swedish colony? Swedish colony? Well, I love their history. And living here. Too, so. Yeah. I love their history. It hadn't probably, well, it had changed some, but probably not where I moved up on the farm with my husband and my in, uh, mother and mother-in-law, my sister-in-law, um, was probably not that different from what I was brought up in. You know, we didn't, at that time in 1953-55, we still had uh, the old way of living, lugging our water from the well, or from the well house, or from the spring sometime. And then there was the outdoor facilities, we still had that. We had no running water in the house. And, you know, we were still milking cows and picking eggs and, and uh, all that good stuff that probably you kids hasn't lived through. And we had uh, butter to churn, clothes to scrub. We were still with the ringer washer that switched back and forth, the old Maytag. And it was, uh, it was interesting living. We were always busy, never a dull moment. What was school like for you? School like for you, I went to school. Most of my schooling was done in Nova Scotia and in the convent. I never went to school here. I was already out of school. But still, how, how was it like for you? How was it like for me? Oh. Interesting. The time we had for schooling was interesting. Being brought up in a facility like a convent is different from like the kids today going to school and doing their work and coming home. We did everything. We started off in the morning by, by making breakfast for like 400 kids. <laughs> and we did everything in, in the facility ourselves. The washing, the ironing, the mangling, the, the farming the milking of cows and all that stuff. We did all that stuff. That was part of our schooling. Okay. Yeah. Um, what, what is the most memorable story? Uh, from where? From whenever. From wherever? My whole life, I guess. Very interesting. <laughs> is there one thing that sticks out? One thing that sticks out? Well, the, the, the ability of uh, uh, being able to get involved in community affairs. And uh, I tell you what, the first thing, the, it sticks out in my memory, is the first thing I joined here in Westmanland after I was married and settled, was the Friendly Guild. They were all older ladies. They were like all my mothers, all my mothers. <laughs> And they taught me a lot. Yeah. What did they do? Oh, they did sewing. <coughs> they did uh, smorgasbords. In the fall of the year, they did... I think they were doing the sales at that time, too. And most of the time was make quilting, making aprons, and, 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 do, and, and the home economic stuff. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, so what was midsummer like? Midsummer? Oh, that was wonderful. That was a great time of the year for celebrating. 
I, uh, in later years, I got involved in the coming of the Swedes and, and uh, anything that was going on, centennials and stuff, I always get myself involved and, and doing things there with uh, the ones that knew about it and needed, needed people to, to participate in these things. Like coming to Swedes, I actually walked from Fort Fairfield with a banner to New Sweden. <laughs> that was fun. It was a very hot day. How many siblings did you say you had? I don't Thirteen remember. of them. I, I had four brothers, the rest of them were sisters. Okay. And now um, there's only two of us left. How Which? is the Swedish colony different from then to now? From then to now? Yeah. Well, people are the same. They're friendly. They're, they're am very ambitious and anxious to help out and, you know, things like that that needs to be done in a community. I don't see that, oh, that much difference. Of course, the older folks are, are gone. They were the, the ones that was the uh, foundation of the rest of us, what we do today. How did you get to school? I, think I walked to school. In my early earlier days, yeah, after my my pair, my mother passed away, and I went to I was in the convent. I didn't have to I didn't have to walk anywhere. We're, everything was inside. It was a big facility. Yeah. What what type of the, what type of chores did you have? Oh my gosh! I was up. I always liked to cook. So in the facility, I was probably up about. Uh, uh, probably four, f not no later than five o'clock in the morning, because I was the one that liked to cook. So they put me in the kitchen. That was one of my chores, making breakfast for, getting breakfast ready for about four hundred hundred other children. And after that, it was cleaning, whatever had to be done to keep the facility clean. We all we all had chores. We were all busy, busy working. We had acres and acres of garden that we had to keep clean. And, uh, you know, and then of course was the, the harvesting part, that was a lot of, it, we were always working. It was more work than school. <laughs> but we did, we thought it was more work than school, but what we were doing, we were learning all the time. You know, if it was topping carrots or shelling beans or whatever, we were still in a group learning. You were learning what they thought, what believed to yeah, what that needed we, that we needed to in survive life, in this world. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Um, what is one thing that you wished you had? Gee, that's a tough one. I have everything I need. I don't really wish for anything. I have everything that I need. You know. Is there and something you really wanted, though, that maybe later on you got or something? No, every, everything seemed to everything seemed to come at the right time, the right place. You know, by going for it, okay. joining organizations and going for it. You know, you set your goals. Set a goal to do one th something and you do it. And you don't give up, you keep on going till you get there. And then there's always another, another hurdle to, yeah. Okay, um, is there any s other stories that stick out to you? Other stories? Oh gee, there is so many. There is so many. Could you share a couple? I wouldn't know which one to share. <laughs> um, well, you're fine with me posting this interview to YouTube, correct? Oh, yes. Okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah.